Yeah. You know. And I also think it's important to think about, like, where we came from. <laughs> yeah. As, so, like, as card game players. Yeah. So, like, for, like, I guess this is getting more into, like, the ROMs. I kind of wanted to get into that mm. because this is so much the fun. The Game Boy Color game? Yeah, so, like, the Game Boy Color game. Oh, my God. So, the Game God. Boy Color game came out right after the jungle. Uh, the jungle. So, Pokemon had, like, the base set. The very first base <laughs> set. So, like, oh. so the very first... <laughs> base set that's the one like everyone talks about with like what's his face one of the paul brothers where he's like bought like a bunch oh, of the no, Charizards. It's, like, it's like the pc right yeah so the so the game boy color one came out right after jungle which was this the is the yeah. oh god okay so yeah so the pokemon <laughs> color okay, that one came out okay. yeah <laughs> and if you're if you're wondering about the person looking weird yeah she does like <laughs> yeah We'll, we'll get into Pokemon what do you mean she looks fine to me oh she we'll looks amazing i play love it. her she's my favorite kid yeah ash ketchum i sleep yu gi i sleep the the girl from pokemon <laughs> for the windows i i woke man okay so um oh my goodness back to the game boy color <laughs> yeah 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 so that was like the first like rom um it was actually pretty cool it had a couple of cards that have never been printed. Which is great. So it's, like, specifically, like, for the ROM. It's, like, its own thing, yeah. Yeah, and then it, like, kind of borrows from, like, the, um, from, like, the video game. So, like, with Pokemon, the video game came first, and that was the anime, and then it was the trading card game, so, like, mm-hmm. that, that came last. So, they're, like, they intertwine really well, I feel like. Like, their schedules are set where, like, Scarlet and Violet came out, and it's, like, not too long later, like, you know, um the Scarlet and Violet cards are going to come out, and then, like, the anime is going to move into... What is it called? Unova? Pa- Paldea? Paldea, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Like, it's going to move into there, right? It's, like, all, like, connected really well. Um, so, with the Game Boy, it was... You had, like, different gyms. Mm-hmm. And so you had to, like, be, like, each gym leader. Yeah. And then you got to go against, like, the Elite Four. It's like a little adventure. Yeah, so they each had, like, a legendary. So it was, like, Zapdos, Articuno, Moltres. And then the other one was Dragonite, which, like... Pseudo-legendary. Like, yeah, 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 but, like, that one was, like, pretty broken, because um, it had, like, no weaknesses. It was, it was Dragons, cool. yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the other one that was... was... Oh, this is all the card game, you said? Yeah, so it's all the trading card game. You follow all the rules. It's mostly the base set and then a couple of cards that were specific just for the uh, Game Boy. And then, um, yeah, so I actually played this. Oh, the Windows one? Uh, Yes. And it's a banger. I had the CD and I played Pokemon Play It. And that claymation girl right there, every single person is designed like that and there's like that... an opening sequence where like this guy's like ah! yeah and he has like two teeth and it's i just... think i think the main thing is because if you go on youtube and look up this game like pokemon for the windows 98 or whatever like there's tons of like videos like archiving like the history of this game and a lot of people what they talk about is the tutorial where you play against this tutorial <laughs> npc and she kind of teaches you how to play, like, not only Pokemon TCG, but how, like, the interface works on Windows 98. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's this really weird 98, like, animation, claymation yeah, thing. Yeah, there's, like, three voice, like, three sound effects and, in the whole thing. And the voice actor is a banger. <laughs> it like... is amazing. It's, it's really funny, like, at tournaments, like, if someone, People, yeah, people yeah, remember they, this. They remember this. They remember the Dark Ages. Like, it's like, just think any old anime or old cartoon show, like, with the four <laughs> kids, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX English does, where it's, like, it's goofy, but it's goofy in, like, a charming way. Yeah, so she's, like, um, a couple of, like, the really fun lines is, come on, heads! And this is every time she flips a coin. Every like, time. and It's, like, come on, heads! This, and she'll flip a coin, she gets heads, all right! I don't know if you... I don't think you... Have you ever played this? I've not played this, thank okay. God. So, no. with the coin flip, so, like, with, like, online, if you flip, if it's, like, you know, flip a coin for each energy attached to the Pokemon. It just flips them all at once. Well, it flips them, like, in continuation, but it's, like, yeah. very quick. But, like, this one, it's, like, boom! So. <sighs> yeah, you gotta yeah. wait the whole thing. No, it's, like, it's, like, spinning, like, mm-hmm. like, you like, if you went, like. Like, it takes way too like long. A, yeah, it takes a long time. 
And it only does, goes up to two coins at a time. And you gotta hear this lady go, come, come on, heads! heads. Every, Every time, time a coin the is The same split. voice, like, the same, like, can audio, come on, heads! Come on, heads! All oh, right! Yeah. All right! <laughs> and then every single time a Pokemon's knocked out, she goes, wow, wow. Knocked, knocked out, out of, of the, the arena! arena. <laughs> yeah, like, it's just like... <laughs> or, um... Uh... uh yeah... It's this, the yeah it, it yeah. <laughs> yeah it was it was the dark ages but it was all I had so I had dial up until I was in high school oh, yeah, t- yeah. so I didn't have an option to play no, like it was online. cool for me, yeah, yeah so I had this and I like I played it all the time yeah. so yeah I mean for the times like it was probably yeah. amazing and I think this one was like I mean, it's a little bit of nightmare fuel. <laughs> Yeah, oh, so yeah. Oh, yeah, this is a little <laughs> jarring there. We'll go back to <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, and it was pretty much, like, not too much later than the base set. So, like, this is still super old. And then, yeah. not too long after Pokemon Play It, because I think Pokemon Play It came out in, like, 98? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, it's around old. there. It's old. <laughs> and then, um, like, Pokemon Online came out, I think it was, like, 2001, 2002-ish? No, it might have been closer to when Austin and I started. It's, it's quite not new. that old. Yeah. Like, I want to say it's closer to 2014 almost, but I might be wrong. 2011. 2011. Yeah, like, it's old, but it's not like, yeah. Like, when yeah. Austin and I started playing in 2015, it was like four years old. It was quite. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Yeah. No, it was in its adolescence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, right now, um, what, that's 11 years? It's not even old enough to drive a car or drink yet, you know? Like, it's it's still new to the world. Yeah, but it... And it's already being replaced. <laughs> yeah, it's getting the Listen, younger... Listen, why, I... Like, at the end of the day... You're why... gonna have a brother soon! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's, like, the younger brother with, like, the golden, you know, like, the silver He's gonna spoon. get all your toys, he's gonna get yeah. all the new clothes, you're gonna get the hand You had to wait down. until you were 16 to get your first cell phone. He's then gonna get it when he's 10. He's time gonna get Fortnite do. on the yeah. iPad, you're gonna have to use the old, like, yeah. grandma's iPad. You had to, you had to take the bus to school, but he gets, mom yeah, he, changed yeah, he's, schedule. He's gotta drive, so... yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He gets Lunchables, you get, like, you know, like, uh, the, the off-brand, like, breakfast of bulls or whatever. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, they're family. I was gonna, say, yeah, they're family. Nobody likes them, but you Dang. Know. <laughs> no, like live is just so, uh, like what's the word? Like it's like going into like a hospital room. Oh, it's sad. It's yeah. so sad. Yeah. It's hard to because ex- like, you don't explain. hate the hospital, but you're like, man, this yeah. is depressing. Like, where's like the little cat? It's like just hang in there, yeah. you know? Yeah, actually, that that's the perfect example. Like, if they had just put that in the back of TCG Live, I feel like it would be quite a bit better, and fixing all the bugs. But you know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think one of the best examples is uh, when we talk about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, right? Where there's tons of bugs but none of them are really game breaker they're just funny yeah like eyeballs sticking out or people like clipping through things and like yeah this part's where like you know you like fall through the floor but then like you like you can kind of like snap back and stuff yeah. right there's one, not one yeah. time i like disappeared when i caught a pokemon but then you probably like snapped back right? yeah. like the game was yeah like you know but then like when you talk about tcg live there's literal like game breaking bugs where it's like you cannot continue playing the game yeah like it just you know that's the difference i think right like, when people, like, I mean, like, people meme about how, like, Melee is just all built on, like, a, a bug and stuff. Well, like, wave dashing isn't actually a bug, but, like, it's not intended to be used the way it was, but, like, <laughs> it's what makes the game beautiful, right? Yeah. Like, you know, Scar- Violet Scarlet, like, we clown on it, but, like, it kind of makes the game funny in a way, you know? Yeah. It makes it charming. <laughs> and then, I was gonna say, I know Yu-Gi-Oh! had a bunch of, like, game versions oh yeah so, we got a lot of games i played one I you probably played um it's the one where like you pretty much just go through um duelist kingdom and duelist city do you know what system it game was Boy advance oh no you played this yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Yu oh it's not forbidden memories it's the other one on the game boy yeah oh, it still says poker <laughs> i know what you're talking about it's uh like, as soon as you see it, yeah, you instantly... Yeah, yeah, it's like one of the... It's like a Dark Duel Stories or something. I, th- I It's probably Dark Duel... DDS, Dark Duel Stories. 
Like, uh... No, it was for the advance. No. Oh, you're probably talking about Duel of Roses advanced. or something. Yeah. Uh... No, I, I know what you're talking about. Would it have a World Championship game? No, no, I know which one he's talking about. He's probably talking about... Um... Oh, I think it might be the Eternal Duel. Like, event. probably this one, right? Yeah. yeah! So it was like... Yeah, so you pretty much, like, just went through, like, the anime of, like, Duelist Kingdom and Duelist City. So you, like, you would battle, like, the people, like, you know, like, Weevil and Rex Raptor and oh, then, yeah. like, Pegasus. And then you move on, you know, to, like, the Slyther dude and the, you know, stuff like that. No, this game was a banger. Because this one, you had 8,000 life points. Yeah. It was like, I and yeah. And you know what you could do in this that I thought was so cool? Scan the codes. Yeah. yeah. If you had codes on your card, you could, like, type them in. It was and then like, you get the card. Yeah. It was, was cool. Like, amazing. I was like, technology. My mind was Best blown. Because then ever. it's like, oh, yeah. I have my real life collection and now you can have it in the game. It was, yeah. not, it was dope. Yeah. yeah. No, it was cool. like. I feel like, like he, he, they kept that around for a really long time. For a really like, long like, time, games, yeah. You had to use in-game currency. For, it's still, only like, yeah. It's only until recently, yeah. I don't know if cards still have the, but like, yeah, yeah, no. For the longest yeah. time, yeah, they had that little digit thing. But it's like that doesn't make sense to me because like yeah, like you'll have like your online audience and you have like your in-person audience. But if you want to get like your online audience like in person, because I feel like tournaments, you probably make a lot of money. Who, you know players I mean? or the company? Uh, the company. No, the company always loses money on always? it. Always? Okay. So think Pretty about much, yeah. think about Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh. When, when, like, I mean, just think about the regional, right? Mm -hmm. how, like, do you remember, like, how much we paid to enter? It was, like... Was it, like, 60 around there, right? But, like, like, for the entry fee itself, like, it was probably, like, 20 bucks to play, right? And then you got, like, the packs and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So already this doesn't make sense. Because the amount of money you're paying is equal to the amount of packs you get. So already, like, you're getting... Retail on the packs. Yeah, you're already getting market value yeah. for the packs. And then, so, like, how, so now, so right now, before the term has even begun, the company has made a net total of zero dollars because all the money they've gotten went back in... I mean, you could argue they sold the packs, right? But, like, you know, right? And then, when people win, like, in Top 32, or, they get more prizes. Yeah. So now everything they give out is just going negative. And then... Like, think about cameras, like, you know, crews, commentators, like, mm -hmm. staff, the venue price. Every tournament, like, Yu-Gi-Oh, Konami, or, like, Pokemon, Nintendo hosts, they lose money. It does not make them money at all. Like. So, are, are we saying the conspiracy theory is that uh, they're trying to force everyone to go online <laughs> instead of no. in person? <laughs> the reason it makes sense for them to do these is the same reason why, like, you know, movie theaters don't make any money off tickets gas stations don't make money off gas right they make money off everything else you know like gas stations yeah. make money off of you buying like that 80 dollar like cigarette or something right like that like dollar it can arizona iced tea right mm -hmm. uh movie theaters make money off you pay like 20 dollars for the popcorn right like uh yeah pokemon Yu Gi Oh. they make money off of you like going to this tournament be like I had a great time. Now I'm gonna go home and buy like a case of cards, right? Like yeah, I'm gonna buy a bunch of cards. Or I'm gonna play have, Master like, Duel and stuff. Yeah, it's it's promotion. Even, like, evil geniuses, and they have like you know official vendors there. I mean, the like... the best example is like an advertisement, right? You see on the TV, you don't pay like technically, right? You don't pay money every time you have to watch an ad. You just have to sit through it and watch an ad, right? And technically, right, companies are losing millions of dollars on these ads, like to buy run a Super Bowl ad for like half a second you gotta pay like a, a more billion dollars just oh, to run an ad billion. yeah so <laughs> why would they run this it's because they know they'll be making back the money like quadruple times quintuple tentuple times right just saw people seeing this like crazy cgi gecko talk about car insurance <laughs> and they're like well i want to buy car insurance right it's like why yeah why would yeah, konami why yeah, yeah yeah why would konami why would pokemon spend like you know millions of dollars on these tournaments where they're losing money it's because they know people are going to see it online on YouTube, right? They're going to, like, see it in person, and they're going to be like, now I want to spend money. And they know it'll be paying back in, like, quadruple. I will say, it's a damn good ad. It is. It it's a very me, good it ad. It gets me real yeah. hard. <laughs> no, it, it I'll works, see, yeah. like, a new, like, you know, like, like, the with 
like I feel like with Pokemon, like regionals, like the top decks like change so much. Like, oh yeah, from regional to regional. All the time. And then I'm like, oh, I kind of want to build that deck, so mm-hmm. I like go out and I like. And buy then the you pack, buy the pack, and I'm like, maybe I'll get like the stuff to build the deck. Like, yeah, and it makes complete sense. Even even if you think about like the third party market, right, where you're like, if you're not buying packs, you're just buying singles on TG Player. Someone had to get those singles. Yeah. <laughs> Someone all online had to get these packs. Like, you know, there's always there's always like a trickle down where like somebody's like you know buying from the main party. Yeah. No, at the end of the day, it helps everyone out. You know. So. Sorry, I feel like today, like my job is just to get us off track. Um... No, no, it's just like, <laughs> conversation topics, man. We're we're just we're just here to talk, Zeke. You know, we're yeah. just here to have a good time. Yeah. Our game. But I will say. This game was really awesome. Oh, banger. I played it a lot. A lot, a lot. Um, my Game Boy Advance recently died on me. So uh, I haven't been able to play. RIP. I know. I mean, I've had it for I'll a I'll win the bag place one of these so I can play some Amazing Grace for it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> but, like, this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! I remember, though, too. So it's, like, really hard. Like, I've watched, like... I watched you guys and like read like oh it's and stuff. way <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah and I'm like what is going on because yeah. like this yeah, is what I like remember. This is, you know I summon a monster I set a you know I set a card I end my turn I I think the good Pokemon <laughs> example is that uh, we were watching was it, I did a thing oh the IGN or was it Try Guys or who? yeah so it was an IGN video. Where, like, they had, like, one of the Try Guys. Yeah, it was the Try like, Guys playing Pokemon, and he had never played it, but he was interested in it. Yeah. So they just do, like, a bare-bones, like, you know, like, basic energies. It's, like, a build-a-battle deck, like, really yeah. starter-friendly. They're yeah. like, okay, so here you play, you bench your Pokemon, you, you attach, attach an energy, energy, you do yeah. an attack, and you end your turn. <laughs> and here I'll play a supporter, draw these cards, bench a Pokemon, play an energy attack now it's your turn yeah now you yeah. can evolve attach an energy it's you know it was all very like fundamentals yeah. and then i was memeing with zeke i'm like man imagine if like the guy's like okay now i'm gonna like activate professor's research discard my hand draw seven cards play crobat as one of them because i have one no cards in hand i could draw up to six cards in my hand and then i'm gonna play quick fall discard this card grab another crobat b play this go b and then play paths to beat to shut off your abilities now i'm gonna play this double turbo energy which has us two energies reduced by 10 by 20 but i'll play choice band which creates by 30 so i'm only losing that hp now i'm gonna v star back and you know use lugia to attack and like do damage and bring back these two are you know it's like oh yeah i'm like you know it's like yeah no i always think like you know there's yeah, there's, like, old Yu-Gi-Oh! And then there's modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Right? There is old Pokemon, like you talked yeah, about. Yeah, there's, like, theme Pokemon. Yeah, and, and then, then like, there's there's like, Pokemon today. Yeah. <laughs> I, and, like, Magic, too, right? There's, like, the, always, like, the... Oh, yeah, I'm, like, here's my 100-card commander deck. I, I play a land, and I pass, right? Okay, I play a land, and I tap it for Red Man to play my Goblin with haste and attack for one damage and pass. And then, you know, you go to the turret, it's, like... All right, uh, with my 10 mana, I'm going to consume two of the mana, float one of the mana, and spend one of the mana for my, like, Black Merchant. Because I control, like, three permanents, I can do damage equal to, like, the loyalty I have in the Devotion. And then I'll multiply it by, like, this thing and cast this instant to countercast it. Okay, in response, I'm going to tap my three open mana. It's, like, countercast your thing. Uh, okay, in response, I'm going to play, like, this board wipe that cannot be countered and stuff. It's like, oh, but I use Pithing Needle to call that so the ability can't be, you know, it's like... And it's like what? <laughs> it's like yeah, easy to learn, difficult to master. Yeah, I think I think what we love about Pokemon, yeah. Yu Gi Oh, and Magic is yes, it's it is at the end of the day like learning the actual game itself. It's very easy to learn. Like we meme on it, but like no, Yu Gi Oh's like it. Yeah, like, get this big guy, smash this other big guy. Bigger yeah. attack beats smaller attack. Eight thousand life points, bring them to zero. You win the game, right? Pokemon Sue, right? Life, yeah, zero. You, yeah. Yep. Yeah, you have six prizes, they have six prizes, take all prizes, knock out a Pokemon, get a prize, every six six prizes you win, right? Yeah. Magic the Gathering, I got 20 life, you got 20 life, you know, like, play the cards of this land, bigger number wins, hit them, but then once you get anything competitive, <laughs> there's so many layers, like, even Ma- po- Super Smash Bros. Melee, right, I would argue, very, very easy to learn, right? Press the A button, do an attack, press the B button, special attack, move the character with stick, how to jump? push up on stick how to crouch push down on stick right and then competitive level you're like okay the wave dash you want to like jump in the air and then at the first like first frame of the animation you want to like diagonally you know air dodge into the floor to do a slide and stuff and then if you uh press the l button on like the 13th frame out of 60 frames you do an l cancel to decrease the lag on the attack when you know it's like 
It's like, oh, yeah. what? <laughs> what? Yeah, what? I mean, like, boxing, right? Super casual level? You punch person. Good. You get hit bad, right? The competitive level sound, there's, like, footwork involved, right? There's, like, the one-two. There's your jab, right? There's mm-hmm. reach involved. There's, like, weight classes. There's, like, so many things going on, right? I mean, even soccer, right? C- casual soccer. You kick ball, you know? <laughs> competitive soccer? I mean, oh, man. Like, just look at, like, Argentina versus friends. It's go- at the highest level. There's so much going on that oh, yeah. we can't even begin to understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I think that's the beautiful part. Like, when, when you, like, it's like looking at a speed runs of games, right? You're like, oh, yeah, I remember playing Super Mario 64, you know, when I was a kid and jumping around with Mario and jumping on the Coopers and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then you watch a speed run of that game, you're like, what the <laughs> fuck is going How is Mario teleporting through the castle? He's like clipping through walls and jumping like a ninja. <laughs> You have this commentator being like, yeah, so this is the uh, b- lo- backwards long jump that was discovered in 1994 by a Portuguese player, and uh, you can uh, clip through, like, 70% of the game and, like, by doing, like, a frame-perfect, like, jump right here and stuff, like, yeah, it's cool. So, yeah, I think that's our discussion on simulators, right? I think, uh, yeah. got most of it off. Anything you want to get off your chest about simulators before we tangent into other stuff, Austin, or, uh? <clears throat> um, nothing really. I mean, we didn't touch uh, too much the on the Yu-Gi-Oh. Like Master Duel is so new. It's it is new. very, very new. It came what out about this the, year. What was the other one? The like Duel so, Links. Like Le- oh, Duel Links yeah. Legacy of the Duels. But yeah, Duel Links. Yeah. Oh, sorry. This is like the child that they did care about a lot. But they probably still care about it a lot. They do. They still update and stuff. But Master Duel is. It's like there's this is the, definitely their second favorite child, but and it's still they just come out with another one. No master duel. Or it's like two v two. Oh cross duel. We don't, yeah, that's another they're can of worms. Like, they're doing like a bunch of fun. Yeah, things. but th- their main two ones I'd say are yeah, duel links and uh, legacy of the duel or sorry master duel and duel links. Yeah. Yeah, I played duel links for a bit. Oh, this actually. game's a banger. Yeah. Yeah. And, again. This was Master Duel, where it's the same rules as Yu-Gi-Oh! With, albeit it's a different ban list and a different card pool. But still, like, you know, the 8,000 life points, you know, all these five mm-hmm. zones. Duel Links was kind of created. It was meant to be played. It can be played on PC, but it was definitely designed more for mobile, right? Than definitely more for, like, the casual player. Yeah. Where you've got three monster zones set of five. You've got 4,000 life points. And each character has, like, a skill and stuff. So it almost feels like you're playing, like, you know, a character duel. Like, like yeah, an like, <clears throat> yeah, like what, a special yeah. ability. Because one of my favorite like, things was they made a lot. Like, there's each character has a lot of different special abilities, but like most of them have like one special ability that like uh it's like a reference back to the show. So like for my Valentine, right in the show she would use like perfume to like know what no the top card of her deck yeah. is by the scent, and in dueling, so uh, yeah, you have like this perfume ability. Where you get to know what the top card of your deck is, so I was like, "That's kind of cool, right?" Yeah, is and Yugi's like, like, oh. part of the card where you like take a card and put yeah, it on top he, of your if, deck? if you have like very low life points, like yeah, like a thousand or two, I don't know what it is, but yeah, when you're at, like really low, like, to draw any cards. yeah, close to death, you have like the heart of the cards destiny draw <laughs> where you get to pick you you before the game starts, like when you're designing your deck, you get to designate yeah one card to be your destiny draw where it's like <laughs> heart of the cards and it's like a comeback mechanic, yeah. Or like Pegasus had an ability where you could like yeah I, I I don't know how it worked but like at some point in the game you could like look at your opponent's hand and like see what they had I was like oh it's just like Pegasus it's cool oh or like Bandit Keith had like this balance ability where like you always start with like a certain number because like in the in the show right he was cheating by like ripping seven completed from his sleeve right oh yeah I thought that was so cool I was like yeah it's like a little you know bringing back or oh yeah oh, I'm sorry oh. I'm, I'm geeking out now uh Weevil Underwood in the the Battle City arc and stuff. You might remember this because you just recently rewatched it, but it was a it was a one on thing. He hires a kid to like bump into Joey Wheeler on accident, and then he smuggles Parasite Parasite into Joey's yeah. deck because it's got an effect where if you draw, you have to reveal it and like infect your whole deck with bugs and stuff. So then, yeah, in in the in Duel Links, Weevil has an ability where you can smuggle a Parasite Parasite <laughs> into your opponent's deck face up. And then, yeah, when they draw, they're like, whoa, what's this doing to my deck? And then suddenly all the guys are like, insects, they're like, what's going on? It was cool. Oh, like, yeah, Joey's probably got, like, a bunch of luck-based. It's, it's fun, it's yeah. fun. All yeah. right. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Duel, Duel Links was cool. Um, I was going to ask you, you know, th uh, Ricky, this is kind of like my tinfoil hat, you know, conspiracy yeah. theory. <laughs> Go for it. So they just released Master Duel Rings. They did, yeah, about a year ago. Duel Links has less. been out for like six years. It's old, yeah. 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 Do you think they'll, and they've, they've been, you know, continuously updating Duel Links. They started it out with kind of a basic and then oh, you know, they okay. gradually kept I adding more, going, and going, more yeah. and more <clears throat> and, and making it closer to like the real game. It even has like controls and links. links yeah, now. yeah. Now they have that's links the summoning. Newest, that's the newest Yu-Gi-Oh mechanic. They're right. caught up. They are, yeah. And now Master Duel is out. Right. Do you think they just like release this game to, to, to train all these people how to play the game gradually, introducing new mechanics to them so the game's not so like overbearing? Like but now, they have Master Duel, and then they can just kind of go transition right into that. It's almost like a restart. But oh, actually, I I think it happened yeah. totally by coincidence. Right, but it's right. Just, it's just a funny theory I've been thinking about. No, well, I mean, yeah. with Master Duel, I played it very briefly, like mm -hmm. maybe like ten games. Sure, but like the um, they have like like. The solo the, mode. The solo mode, and then, like, the pre-built decks for yep. ya. And yeah. I did, like, they had, I feel like some of them were just, like, this is for the person who hasn't played Yu-Gi-Oh! since, like, Yeah, they had the starters, they had monarchs and stuff. Yeah, <coughs> so, like, I did, like, the monarchs, where it's literally, like... Monarchs? Yeah, it's just, like, tribute, tribute. summon. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I'm like, I know what that is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I think they have stuff for, like, kind of people at many different levels with the, with the different kind of structure decks and starter decks that they have in that game right now a the good example yeah fine. oh yeah um the solo mode i think sort of tries to teach you some of game definitely. mechanics it's but... definitely for people learning the game yeah 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 well, i was gonna say yeah, yeah with speed dueling and stuff um that was the one we bought at that store that one time where it's basically their attempt at translating dual links into tabletop where you have like skills and then it's like the three zones four thousand life points and like the cards are a lot more simpler and stuff well it's it's sorry it's they tend to use like a smaller pool of cards like dual links where it's like yeah they're not using these crazy combos it's just summon a monster set a card pass and stuff and like yeah like it's the same thing speed duel was very very much pushed for like you know like Yu-Gi-Oh! competitive today is very, very complex. It's tough for people to get into. How do we, you know, bridge the gap of easy to learn, difficult to master? Then their solution, for the most part, was like Speed Duel, Duel Links, right? Or even Master Duel Solo Mode, right? You look at Pokemon TCG Online, they've got a tutorial, they've got the battle theme decks, right? Mm -hmm. In Tabletop, right, they've got the build and battles, right? They've got all, so much material for people. At Regionals, there's literally a, a, a section cut off dedicated with two judges sitting there teaching you how to play the game yeah with a you know that gigantic comically large pile of like basic energies and a bunch of pokemon where you just like make your deck and stuff out yeah, of basic like stuff. trainers yeah yeah mm -hmm. no i i think i think it's important to you know not gatekeep a game that you love and let the new people right. in because at the end of the day we were all there at one point you know i remember yeah, yeah. There's got to be some no, sort of infrastructure. Like my first like in-person Pokemon deck was like a, it was like a Raichu versus Gyarados deck or something. Oh, and, this must have been before I met you then. Yeah, yeah. and it was like um, it was like it's like I'd played online before. It's like you know what I mean. Well, mm -hmm. not online, but like you know on like the simulator and stuff. Yep. And I finally like saved up enough money. Like I took a bunch of monster cans from the skate park and we turned enough that I was able to buy this. Mm -hmm. And Shout out to Monster. Shout out to Monster, but then everybody went to Arizona and then those aren't returnable. But anyways, um, sorry, doxing us. We are from Michigan. Um, and <laughs> the, uh, but like when you started, they were like, don't shuffle the deck and like follow like the little script. They had like a little like Oh yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, just teach you the game, along. yeah. Yeah, it was really cool. So... Yeah, I'm always down for more people learning. I mean, my dream is to one day go to an anime convention. <laughs> and play an actual game. And play a game at one the One of these days, man. One of these days. That's, That's not me. <laughs> yeah, because we yeah, just played yeah. yeah, yeah. We didn't drive an hour to locals just to play To do other. what we always do. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool stuff. Any dreams? Yeah. 
for you for Yu-Gi-Oh in the future? Awesome. Dreams? Um, nothing too crazy. I would like to see. They've been doing a pretty good job. Um, they've been updating Master Duel like pretty frequently. I'd like to say. Like, I feel like every, you know, month or so, we're getting, like, at least an update for some things. And then every couple of months, it seems like they're adding new cards. So, that's Yeah, they're nice slowly update. adding into the pool, yeah. So. yeah. I really want them to start pumping out the cosmetics, but... Heck yeah. Uh, Get the anime playmats, man. I'll, I'll fucking spend money I, on that. I think they're working on that stuff, too. Because it seems like they've they've definitely been coming out with a lot more of that stuff. I will say, yeah, the, the, the like, Day Zero, when they released, like, the Laundry Dragon made, like, uh, Dueling Mate and stuff, I immediately spent money. I was like, heck yeah, I'll spend money on this. She does, like, a backflip, turns into a dragon. I'm like, heck, yeah. it's like... Does it affect gameplay? No. Is it a cool cosmetic I can look at? Heck yeah. I'll, I'll spend money on cosmetics. Yeah, this is going to be like a totally awesome mate now. Oh, dude. A yeah, no, that would be nuts, dude. It's going to be good. Frogs sitting on a frog and stuff. It's great. There we go. Yeah, that's my only dream. I hope they keep <laughs> updating it as often as possible. Yeah, keep the game alive, yeah. All right, yeah. I mean, that's that's simulators. Um, I I hate to cut it short, but we we've been talking for quite a bit. Yeah. So um. Sorry, this is something that like we use, we do all the time. Yeah, that's yeah. Really easy it's, to no, talk it's about. it's it was, it was a good topic. We I mean, we can talk about it. You know, it's, it's yeah. Yeah. I don't want people sitting through like a twelve hour. We'll do like we'll do another one. It's like... I mean, also eventually, it's like probably you know wake up and you know like you probably yeah 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 can't keep you guys here forever. Yeah. I don't work till three thirty tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can like bu bundle this into like a a two part episode three, episode four part special. Is that way we're like there we you know go. that we have a backlog for like crisp. Oh, because is it that long? Um, we have been talking for oh, okay, an hour twenty one. Not that long, but like Look I mean, that. we're pretty good. I I could I don't know I could I could probably squeeze this into two. What that's ninety? I can squeeze in like two forty-five minute episodes, maybe. Just because, like you know, we're coming up on Christmas and New Year's, and New Year's. like we're going to Florida for yeah. New Year's oh yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever you, uh, whatever you think is the the, the way. I, I think I think we might have to backlog this because um, we release these episodes on Saturday, yeah. and uh, that'll be yeah. the twenty fourth. It's gonna be Christmas right. Eve. Right. So it's going to be the time of giving, right? And what better way to give than with discounts on my favorite affiliate link, rollcosplay.com, <laughs> using the <laughs> discount code uh, RCY18 on rollcosplay.com. If you guys click the link below <laughs> right now in the description, you too can get 18% off site-wide at rollcosplay.com. Using the code RCY19, click the link below, and you'll be helping to support the podcast, getting 18% off cosplays, wigs, uh, le stockings, all sorts of fashion items. It's perfect for the Christmas and year-end sale, and it ends January 5th, 2023, so make sure you guys cash in on this sweet deal. You'll be helping the channel a lot. Click the link down below, rollcosplay.com, save 18% off store-wide using the code RCY18. Make sure you click that link so that it, a portion of the sale goes to the podcast. 